Hey guys, today we will present a very useful tool to you. I'm talking about KeePass. KeePass is a password manager which is used to store the passwords of all your random accounts you create on your journey through the internet. How this works is by having one special password which is used to enter your password database. All your data will be safely stored there and is only accessible by you. This makes it possible for you to use a different password on every account you create without having to worry about forgetting it and therefore granting you higher safety for all of your accounts. In this video, we will guide you through the different steps you need to take to effectively install, set up, and finally use the KeePass software. I will now start off by leading you through the process of downloading and installing KeePass on your device. First, you just need to Google KeePass download and click the first link. Here you select the latest version and wait a short moment for the download to finish. So when this is done, you just open up the setup. And here, of course, you just confirm. And then you can choose whatever language you want. I will leave it on German. Here, we will just agree and next. Here you can choose the location, next. And here you can decide which components you want to install. I will take all of them, next. Then you got some additional options where I will choose to create a desktop icon for KeePass. And that's basically it. You just have to click install. And then KeePass is ready to be used. Okay, so after you have installed KeePass correctly, you should see this window. First, you need to create a database where all your passwords are saved. To do this, just click on this icon here. And the little dialog is shown, which tells you what the database is. And the, that is just a regular file, and you have to remember where you saved it. Press it OK. And I just save it on the desktop. Next, we have to create a master password. Um, this is basically just a password uh, to gain access to your database and so to your others, to your other passwords. I just type in as password tutorial. Like this. And hit OK. And now we have some settings. First there are general settings where, you, where we can give the database a name, like tutorial database. And also a description, like this is a tutorial database for all my passwords. Um, uh, as well, uh, the, data, the database name as well as the description can also be left blank, but I just typed something in. And we can uh, move to, to the next tab. The security options. We have um, many options to uh, optimize the security of our database, um, but to go into detail here would be out of scope for this tutorial. So I'll just leave everything as it is. Next, we have the compression. Uh, here we have the option to compress our database so it won't, uh, it will take less space on your computer. Uh, I generally uh, recommend to use at least some sort of um, compression, so I just use Qzip. Next we have the option to enable a recycle bin. It's uh, basically like the recycle bin you have on your on your Windows PC, so deleted passwords go first there, but more on that later. And we have some advanced settings um, where I won't go into detail either because of the scope of this tutorial. And when we set everything correctly, we just hit OK. And we are asked to print an emergency sheet. In this emergency sheet, there are all the information uh, required to gain access to the, to the database. Um, this is especially useful if you forget your password, uh, your master password, or if you want to give another person access to your database. And yes, I would recommend to print that, but for this tutorial it's, uh, it's not useful, so I skip this. And now we have it. Now we have uh, our new database uh, created.
After the installation and the setup process, we can see the shown window. The layout is divided into two parts. On the right side we can see some default keys. On the left side we can see some auto-generated folders where uh, keys can be stored. At first let's create our own folder. Just right click on the left side of the layout and select add group. We will give it the name games and press enter. Now we are inside our uh, group. To create a new key entry right click on the right side of the layout and select add entry. Now we see a new window where we can set up our first key. Let's store our Steam username and password in this key. For the title we will write down Steam. We also have the option to select an icon, so it's, let's choose one. Press OK. For the username we will uh, write down, for example, test user. In the password field we can write down our password and repeat it under the text field below. Uh, while typing you can check the quality of the password on the bar below. So let's type in our password. Then repeat it again. If you want to look up your password you can just click on the asterisk button and the password will be shown to you. Uh, Kipas also provides uh, the, option the option for auto-generated password, passwords. Just click on the key icon and the drop-down menu will appear. You can choose a hex key with a specific length. It doesn't matter if you can't remember this password because it is stored in Kipas anyway. Now we have to uh, pass in the URL. I will just select the web plugin from Steam pass it in there. We also have the option to take notes and set an expire date. I will just press OK. Now we have created our first key in our new folder. We'll double click on the URL. The web browser will open with the Steam uh, login site. Now you can just double click on the username and password field and pass it into the website but uh, take note that you only have a uh, 12 seconds timeline for passing in the selected password or username because of key pass safety reasons. So let's say we want to delete our entry and our folder. We will just right click and say delete entry, confirm. Right click on the folder, delete group and say yes. Now we can see that the folder and the key are stored in the recycle bin. Um, the recycle bin works like in Windows, so we have to clean the recycle bin to completely delete our uh, input. So empty recycle bin and confirm. That was our little tutorial about Keepers. I hope you liked it. Um, write on a comment, press the like button and stay tuned for more content. Thank you.